Hello everybody, this is Michael217, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. We are in the Palace of Winds right now, having a lot of trouble getting to this locked door. However, upon watching... Oh, get off, get off of me. Get off of me, come on! Uh, off to a great start here, you can see. Um, upon watching back the previous video, I've come to quite a few big observations. Uh, for one thing, I think I know how to get to that door. And another thing is, Nintendo is full of dicks. Now, that's not the big observation that I made, because I've known that all my life, playing their games. But, uh, they're a bunch of dicks because in this dungeon, I believe they make you go through this door right here. Um, remember, that this used to be a locked door. We obviously went through it. And, um... And upon watching that previous video, I came to realize that going through this door and going through all the obstacles it leads to, which includes that room with all the bombs in it that I couldn't figure out, all that does is lead to another small key, which you'll be using to get over to that door. And I think I know how to get to that, so after thinking about it, you know, I believe this door up here is just a big trap and waste of time. Because because all you really need to do, I hope this works, because I also noticed this switch up here. I think I would miss that. You, you really, theoretically, you don't have to go through that door at all. You can just do the, throw the bomb over there to that switch, and that opens the door on that side, and now we should be able to get through this. And I'm assuming we should be able to push the blocks right up there, because we couldn't push from the other side. So let's get rid of this butt munch first. So I think I've figured out this dungeon, and again, I, I promise you that I've figured out all this stuff simply by watching the last video back. So, hopefully I'm correct about this. But, you know, if, if I am correct about the whole trap thing, and the whole, and that wasted door we went through, that means that I wasted about 10 minutes, and speaking of wasted, there's 200 wasted rupees right there. I wasted about 10 minutes of the last episode doing crap that I didn't even need to do, and there's some of the most annoying- Oh, please tell me to push one of these. You son of a- Ugh. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, so there's no point to coming in here, except to get that rupee, so... Oh boy, maybe that room isn't a trap after all. Maybe Nintendo are not dicks. Okay, so... I've come up with two solutions to getting to that door. One of them obviously didn't work. One of them was just to go to the other side and try to push those blocks. And the other solution is to drop down to it, but that's the only other thing I can think of. Either that, or maybe go up to it from below. Like, maybe have to make clouds appear and climb up them. I don't know, but the other option is to drop down, and maybe... Actually, I think I see... Those cracked... that cracked floor. Maybe you can drop down that. That's what I'm thinking right now. So maybe... Okay, maybe I'm wrong about Nintendo being complete... Well, uh, no, I'm not wrong about Nintendo being complete dicks, because they are complete dicks. But I am wrong about this being a trap. I'm pretty sure you can just drop down here. Let's see. Voila! There we go. So it wasn't a, com a complete trap after all. So now we can get in here and move on. <laughs> okay, so we have this. Oh boy, this actually looks. Yeah, this looks familiar. This is. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Do I even have any fairies left? I'm kind of worried about that now. Oh fuck. Wizard robes all over the place. I want to get over here and get rid of this moblin. From what I recall, this is a big maze really annoying one because of the, these stupid enemies, and now I'm down to one heart, and now I have my beads. I could make use of that, I guess. Alright, now, okay, whenever, yeah, I, I remember this, because whenever you see, like, panels like, ah, oh, jeez, there's so much crap, whenever you see panels like this on the floor, you can push the blocks, and you get a blue kinstone. That's really all we use that for to get that, because we can't get through there. We have to go around. Oh my god, I don't have any fairies, so if I get hit a few more times, I'm about to die. Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you right now. Uh, thankfully, I, I, I really do like that sword skill, though. It allows us to shoot beams when we're low on health. That's really handy. Oh, shit! Damn it, that's the end of me. 
That is the end of me. <sighs> uh, yeah, guys, I hate to say it, but yep, I just went and got three fairies. Uh, if you exit the dungeon, you know, uh, from the entrance, and uh, you get pots that are right next to the entrance, uh, there are two fairies there, so I went, I went ahead and grinded for those. So, something I learned along the way getting back here about the uh, Rock's Cape is it's actually really useful for avoiding enemies. You can jump over enemies with this, like, you know, like that. So it's actually pretty useful in that regard. I never really have tried that in previous playthroughs. Alright, so I'm still focus- I still want to focus on getting- Mainly the Wizards are what I want to get rid of here, because they're going to be the biggest pain in the ass. I'm not worried about them. Ugh, especially the Ice one. Actually, I think the fire one's worse because he makes. And once you get hit by fire, you're running around and stuff. And you could, like, risk running off the edge. Okay, let's be careful here. Oh, crap. This is a dead end. Oh, okay. I see clouds over there. You can, there's stuff you can definitely jump over. So let's try this. Yeah, because we can push these off and we can jump over the other side. Okay. Don't know what else I'm missing here. There are skulls over there, you can push these out of the way, but I don't see the point. I want to be really careful here. Let's just jump up these clouds. <laughs> this is kind of making me nervous. I don't like this area. I definitely remember this area too, and I hated it. So I just want to get out of here as fast as I can. There's the boss door, but don't we need another key? I guess not. But are we really done? The way this... <laughs> The way this dungeon is, you never really know. I feel like there's more to this. No, I guess that's it. Okay, we're down the dungeon and we can fight the boss, I think. Um, let's see. Yep, this is definitely it. This is the boss. Alright, so we're fighting Mantike and Mantine, kind of. And, oh boy. I, uh, it, this definitely takes... Okay, oh yeah, okay. You have to split off into the right formation, see the eye... And I'm full. You, know, you just split off in the f same formation that the eyes are open in, and then you just attack. Otherwise, the attack won't work. And once you're done, just get rid of your clone so you can focus on this. Once this blue guy comes along, if you make sure you jump, jump onto him. And then this is just a big endurance round here. Man, actually, never mind. No, his eyes pop out. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, this is, yeah, you have to play jump rope with his tail. So watch out for his tail. This is where you make use of your rocks tape. Sometimes when you're jumping over it's crap though, you lose opportunities and do damage. So it just it takes a lot of paying attention and multitasking. Oh man, getting back onto his back is the most nerve-wracking thing. Okay, so a lot of stuff to avoid here too. So this is definitely a pretty tough boss fight because there's just so much to avoid. I guess I can still attack and with one link. Then there's this this stuff you have to avoid, so. It's just a lot of stuff to pay attention to, mostly. And I guess it's not a big deal if you, yeah, if you lose your clones, just as long as you do enough damage to where you can actually hit them. I don't know if I'm explaining this right at all, because, again, this is totally fuzzy, this whole dungeon. So... Because you're fighting both of these, and it's... God, oh man, yeah, I remember these things, you just have to avoid those, not as much else you can do. I think you can actually... I think you... Oh, don't jump off, you dipshit. I think you can, like, get refills off of them if you can kill them. Man, it's just... Oh, I hate this, because you don't get a whole lot of chances to do damage. Yeah, I'm definitely going <laughs> to need those fairies. This is going to be pretty ugly. This is definitely the hardest boss fight in the game. That's that's for sure. And the final boss can be pretty tough, too. But I think this is the hardest one. Man. It, it, you know, it's hard It's hard for me to explain. I apologize if I've done a poor job of explaining this, but this is just so much going on here. Just go crazy here. Yeah, I think the, the parts where you're on, t on top of the red one, I find to be the... I don't even know. I, no, I think the red one, yeah, these, these are the harder ones, because it's just so hard to form your clones without getting hit. Because once you get hit, you lose them. Yeah, there's so much crap coming at you. The blue one's not so bad. It's all you have to really worry about is the tail and the occasional green things that fly at you. Whoa, jeez, you have to 
Man, we have to time that. I'd be good at platforming to do this. Oh, okay. I wonder what happens if you stay on this red one for too long. There we go. Man, this is crazy. So just wait for it to open. Now he's moving. Oh, wow, he didn't stay open for very long. There we go. Got a hit in there. I'm surprised he's not using his tail at all. That just makes it even more hectic. Okay. Blue one seems like he's dead. Can I get off of him? Uh, that works. I guess all I have to do is worry about the red one now. I have a feeling this is going to be a pain in the ass. Because now the blue one's not there to save him, he's probably going to be a lot tougher. Shoot. Yeah, you see, he's getting refills from the green guys. Oh man, yeah, I hate this because these guys always get in the way. Like, right as you form, they come on and they ruin your clones. Did I get him? Is he done? I guess he's done. <laughs> he's not, yeah. Alright, so yeah, that can kick your ass, but, you know. <laughs> you're probably gonna have to go on with, with the fairy there. Unless you're actually good at the game, which I'm not. But there we go, there is the wind element. Finally, after. You know, because again, keep in mind, this is the wind element that we we're supposed to get from the Fortress of Winds, dungeon number three. So, yeah, you end up getting it here. And finally we get that, and we can get a heart container, definitely need that. I don't know how many heart containers I'm going to end up with this game, there's a few more heart pieces I can think of that I can get. It will probably be 15, maybe 16, if I can search hard enough, but anyway, let's go up here and see what getting all of the elements, that's another thing to keep in mind, we just, we just got all the elements, we have all four of them, and now we can revive the sacred blade, so... We know where to go for that. That is the Elemental Sanctuary. I will see you guys there. Okay, here we are. Our last visit to the Elemental Sanctuary. So, this is pretty exciting. We have all of our elements. And now we'll see what they all do. Let's add our Wind Element in. And now we have the Four Swords, so this is pretty much this game's version of the Master Sword. This is the Sacred Blade that we've been working so hard to get reforged. And another thing that we can do with this is split off into four pieces, and do four uh, clones. And apparently we also open a door. By the way, yeah, the rest of this game is pretty much fuzzy to me, just like how the Palace of Winds was, so... Excuse me if I'm a little bit, you know, if I'm a little bit unknown to what's going on here. I forgot that door opens. But yeah, now we can actually split off into four. I don't know if we will be able to demonstrate it here or not, and I don't even know what goes on up here. I guess we'll find out. 